Good evening. Mesdames, Messieurs, bonsoir. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hugues Baudouin de Mouchel, and I have the distinct pleasure of being your master of ceremony this evening. It is truly an honor to be part once again of this special evening, having served as your master of ceremony for all eight Order of Ottawa investiture ceremonies. Nous sommes réunis ce soir, mesdames et messieurs, pour souligner l'excellence d'Ottawa en remerciant quelques résidents de leur contribution hors du commun à notre belle ville. At this time, I invite those who can to please stand for the arrival of the official party and to remain standing until the departure of the color party. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of the city of Ottawa, the recipients of the Order of Ottawa, and the recipient of the Brian Kilroy Award for Excellence in Coaching. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Je vous invite à vous asseoir. This evening, we pay tribute to 16 men and women who will be inducted into the Order of Ottawa. We will also honor an in individual who has dedicated countless hours as an amateur coach. Nous saluons également les récipiendaires de l'Ordre d'Ottawa de 2012 jusqu'à 2018 qui se sont joints à nous ce soir. Bienvenue à tous et toutes. As you can imagine, The task of selecting tonight's honorees was not an easy one. However, through a process of careful review and evaluation, the Order of Ottawa Selection Committee came to the unanimous decision of awarding the Order of Ottawa to these highly accomplished and deserving citizens of Ottawa, as well as to this year's recipient of the Brian Kilroy Award of Excellence in Coaching. First, however, I wish to acknowledge that Ottawa is located on unceded territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe Nation. I would like to honor the land and the peoples of the Algonquin Anishinaabe Nation, whose ancestors have lived on this territory for millennia, and whose culture and presence have nurtured and continue to nurture this land. I would also like to honor all First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples, their elders, their ancestors, and their valuable past and present contributions to this land. Tonight, Elder Barbara Dumont-Hill has been asked to deliver 
an indigenous blessing. Ms. Dumont Hill is a First Nation Algonquin and was born on the Kitigan Zibi Anishinaabeg Reserve. Ottawa and Gatineau form part of the Algonquin Nation's traditional unceded lands. Elder Dumont Hill is a tenth of 13 children born to courageous Algonquin parents, and she is descended from a long line of Anishinaabeg. Barbara is Turtle Clan and has been following the Red Road for over 30 years. She continues to deepen her culture by studying her language, drumming, and singing the songs that honor her ancestors. I would now like to invite Elder Barbara Dumont Hill to come forward to deliver an Indigenous blessing. Elder. Hello everyone. I hope you're all living your life in a good way. I am a very proud Anishinaabeg woman. My name is Barbara Dumont Hill. I am Turtle Clan and I was born on the Kitigan Zibi Indian Reserve. I, just before I, I say my blessing, I, I, because of these, uh, this great, amazing group of people here, I thought I wanted to read this quote. I don't usually read anything, but uh, it, it, it just uh, seemed like the right thing to do. Um, warriors are not what you think of as warriors. The warrior is not someone who fights because no one has the right to take the, another, the life of another. The warrior for us is one who sacrifices himself for the good of all of others. The warrior's task is to take care of the elderly, the defenseless, those who can't provide for themselves, and most of all, the children, the future of our humanity. So congratulations to each one of you warriors. I want to start with a blessing. And um, it's a prayer that was said here on this land since time immemorial. So I'd like you to all hear it tonight. I'm very grateful for this time we have here together, sitting here in circle to honor these distinguished guests, and for all the family, all the people who showed up to show them that great honor. I'm grateful today. I'm grateful today for our grandfather son who shares his light with us each day, and our grandmother moon who lights up our, our night sky, breaks down our seasons for us. I'm grateful for our sacred mother earth who provides everything we need to live our life in the good way. I'm grateful for the sacred air, the breath of Minomanido, for the sacred water, the blood of our Mother Earth that quenches our thirst, brings life into the world, and reminds us that women are sacred. I'm grateful for the winged, the four-legged, the swimmers and the crawlers, for all the trees, the plants, the roots, the medicines that grow here on Great Turtle Island, that add beauty to our life each day and have always shared their bounty with us. I'm grateful for all the ancestors who created a good path for us to follow and those seven generations of ancestors that we all have a responsibility to leave a good path for. I'm grateful for all the people who live their life in the good way, who care and respect our Mother Earth and all human beings. And I ask Creator to touch each one of you here today to bless you all with good health, with wisdom for you, for your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, that you all understand we all belong to one creator. We all have a responsibility to respect all of her creation. So for each one of you and all of these things, I say chimigwitch, and uh, let's have a great night honoring these very, very distinguished people. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elder Dumont Hill, for that blessing, inspirational as always. And I now have the pleasure of inviting His Worship, Jim Watson, Mayor of the City of Ottawa, to come forward. Votre honneur. Well, thank you very much, uh, Hugh. Uh, I think for the people standing, there's some seats back there. It's usually the press gallery, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind you taking a seat. I'm only going to speak for an hour and a half, so you might want to... Uh, <laughs> 
might want to grab a seat. And I think there's some seats over here as well. Uh, it's great to see such a great turnout as we recognize these individual residents of Ottawa with the Order of Ottawa. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your City Hall, and thank you for coming out in such great numbers as we recognize some distinguished citizens of our city. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs, et uh, bonsoir, nos distingués uh, invités. Bienvenue à tous à votre hôtel de ville. I'm happy uh, to be here this evening as we celebrate the outstanding contributions and achievements of the 2019 inductees into the Order of Ottawa. I'm pleased to extend a special welcome to our Order of Ottawa recipients, as well as their family and friends who have joined us here today for tonight's ceremony. J'offre une bienvenue toute spéciale à nos nouveaux membres de l'Ordre d'Ottawa, ainsi que leurs familles et leurs amis qui sont ici ce soir. I'd also like to welcome uh, Victor uh, F. Tedono, Tenondo, uh, who will receive the Brian Kilray Award for Excellence in Coaching. And Brian Kilray is with us here today. We're honored to have him. An honor that recognizes the contribution of an amateur coach who best exemplifies the qualities of leadership and commitment. I also want to extend a special welcome to Interpreet Singh, as well as his family and friends for joining us this evening. Mr. Singh was selected as a 2018 Order of Ottawa recipient, but was unable to attend last year's ceremony, so we're happy to have him with us tonight. Tonight, we recognize outstanding and exceptional residents who have made a significant contribution to our city, province, country, and for, that, and for many, the world. I'd like to recognize uh, members of par Member of Parliament uh, Karen McCrimmon for Car Canada Carleton who's with us, members of Provincial Parliament John Fraser, uh, MPP for Ottawa South, Jeremy Roberts, MPP for Ottawa West Apian, former Premier uh, Dalton McGuinty, Senator Poulin, and City Councillors who are here to recognize uh, their constituents, Councillors El Shantiri, Glenn Gower, Teresa Cavanaugh, Mathieu Fleury, Rolson King, Jeff Leeper, Stephen Blay, Alan Hubley, as well as members of the city's management team, uh, Ke uh, Kevin Wiley, General Manager, Public Works and Environmental Services, Valerie Turner, General Manager, Innovation, uh, Innovative Client Services, Donna Gray, General Manager, Community and Social Services, our new police chief, Peter Slowly, is with us, Kim Mayotte, the fire chief, uh, as well as Brent uh, Winchcombe, Deputy Chief, Ottawa Paramedic Service, representing Chief Miles Cassidy and members of the Order of Ottawa Selection Committee, Mr. Rick O'Connor, City Clerk, Kathy Bowles, Chief of Protocol, Paul Henry, City Archivist, and Danielle McDonald, Ottawa Public Library CEO. I also want to point out this is Kathy Bowles' last Order of Ottawa ceremony as she is retiring after her distinguished career as Chief of Protocol. She and her team put these wonderful events together, and Kathy, wherever you are, thank you very, very much for a job well done. Felicitations. Thank you. And I'm also very pleased to recognize some of the individuals who were awarded the Order of Ottawa in previous years. I'd encourage you to go just outside Jean Pigott Hall. There's a wall that says Order of Ottawa, and you can see some of the recipients from years gone by. Cette ceremony de remise de l'Ordre d'Ottawa nous donne l'occasion de rendre hommage à des résidents exceptionnels. This is a chance to recognize individuals for their work in helping to make our city one of the best places in which to live, work, and play. The 2019 inductees join a list, an illustrious group of residents who have been recognized and celebrated for significant contributions to life in the city through their professional accomplishments. The Order of Ottawa honors exceptional residents of our city for their professional contributions in many fields – arts and culture, business, law, philanthropy, health care, education, public service, labor, communications and media, science and technology, sports entertainment uh, or other fields of endeavor that benefit the citizens of Ottawa. In the spirit of these awards, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my colleagues on City Council for their public service. And I'd also like to thank the organizing committee, or the selection committee rather, and Kathy, as I mentioned, for their dedicated work in making sure this ceremony is the special event it should be for these very special people. It's meaningful and important to honor residents who make significant contributions to our city. En plus de tout que vous faites pour notre communauté, vous inspirez vos voisins à faire de même. And it's my honor to recognize the professional and civic contributions and dedication to others of the distinguished group of recipients who you will be introduced to in just a moment. The work and contributions of the Order of Ottawa recipients are an inspiration to many people, not only here in Ottawa, but throughout Canada and in fact internationally. 
from business to community service, education and technology to fundraising and philanthropy, Francophone affairs, arts and science to sports, medicine and community leadership, you have reached Ottawa's residents through a variety of avenues. You are trailblazers in your field. You inspire others to become community builders and give back to their community. You have advocated for minority rights, the rights of women and children, as well as the rights of LGBTQ community and for the inclusion of immigrants. You help serve some of the most vulnerable members of our society. Vous avez été des modèles pour communautés francophones de notre ville. Vous avez servi la cause des arts et de la culture et aidé des gens dans le besoin. You have supported charities and fundraising campaigns, and you have improved the quality of life of friends and neighbors alike. And you have been leaders in research, education, law, and the medical field. And you've united, you have united our city in good times and in tough times. You inspire youth to become more confident, motivated, active, and healthy through the power of sports. And nous sommes chanceux que vous ayez choisi de faire d'Ottawa votre ville. What is ex equally important is that you serve in exceptional role models, and you probably don't even realize this. We're lucky that we can count on individuals of your caliber to lead by example and inspire us. Vos efforts ont amélioré la vie de vos voisins, vos voisins, excusez-moi, et pour cela, je vous dis merci beaucoup. Our city, our residents, and myself are very appreciative and proud, and on behalf of the City of Ottawa and my colleagues on City Council, I extend my sincere congratulations, félicitations, and please enjoy the evening. It's for you. Merci. Merci, Monsieur le Maire. Before we begin the presentation ceremony, I would like to tell you a bit about the medal that each inductee will receive this evening. L'Ordre d'Ottawa est un prix civique de prestige qui récompense les contributions exceptionnelles des résidents dans de nombreux domaines de la vie dans notre ville. Faites en argent et apposé sur un ruban bleu, vert et blanc, les couleurs officielles de la ville, la médaille porte à l'avant, sur la vert, les armoiries de la ville et est gravée des mots « Order of Ottawa » et Ordre d'Ottawa. Le nom du lauréat et l'année d'attribution du prix de l'Ordre sont inscrits sur le revers de cette médaille. I will now read a brief biography on each recipient. A longer, more detailed biography can be found in this evening's program. Once the biography has been read, the recipient and their respective ward counselor will come forward to receive their insignia, sign the official registry of the Order of Ottawa, and receive a certificate. Several councillors were unfortunately not able to join us this evening, but they graciously extend their most sincere congratulations to all recipients. Assisting Mayor Watson will be is Ed Ducan, Lieutenant Busby of the Cameron Highlanders of Ottawa, Duke of Edinburgh Zone. Recipients will be called forward in alphabetical order. Les récipiendaires seront appelés dans l'ordre alphabétique. And without further delay, it is with great pleasure that I introduce the first recipient, Mr. Anand S. Agarwal. Mr. Agarwal. Okay, you may, you may applaud. <laughs> Mr. Agarwal founded the real estate firm and Manor Park Group of Companies more than 39 years ago. He is co-owner of the Infinity Convention Center, as well as several hotel real estate holdings. Mr. Agarwal has a vision to provide affordable housing for the Ottawa community. As a former Board of Directors member at the Ottawa Heart Institute Foundation and co-founder of DATCAN, he helped to raise more than $10 million for the Institute. A leader in his community, Mr. Agarwal also played a key role in the construction of the Gurdwara Sahib Ottawa and the Sai Centre Ottawa. He was one of the founding advisors of the Indo-Canada Ottawa Business Chamber and a director and charter member of the Indus Entrepreneurs. Mr. Agarwal, accompanied by his ward councillor, Ralston King.
Congratulations, Mr. Agarwal. Our next honoree is Dr. Roland Armitage. Dr. Roland Armitage was a member of the Royal Canadian Artillery serving in the Second World War. Following the war, he obtained veterinary medicine and doctor of veterinary surgeon degrees and specialized in and cared for thousands of horses. Dr. Armitage was president of the Canadian Trotting Association and general manager of the Rideau Carlton Raceway before serving as mayor of the township of West Carlton and as a member of the Council of the Regional Municipality of Ottawa Carlton. A strong community builder, Dr. Armitage contributed to the development of the Carp Farmers Market, a state-of-the-art retirement residence in the center of the village of Carp, and he was a member of the West Carlton War Memorial Project Committee, successfully developing a Carp Cenotaph to honor residents of West Carlton March who died during the First and Second World Wars. Dr. Armitage, accompanied by his ward counselor, Eli L. Shantiri. Congratulations, Dr. Armitage. Our next honoree is Mr. Claude Bennett. Mr. Claude Bennett has served his community in municipal and provincial politics for a total of five decades, serving as minister for various cabinet appointments for 14 years. He served as chair of the Ottawa Transition Board in 2000 and 2001, overseeing the amalgamation of 12 municipal governments. Mr. Bennett was chair of the board, Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, director of the Royal Canadian Mint, president of the Commonwealth Games Association of Canada, president of the Commonwealth Games Foundation, and chair of the Canada Safety Council. He was chairman of the Ottawa Airport Authority with oversight of the construction of the new Ottawa McDonald Cartier International Airport. He was a board member of the Ottawa Heart Institute, the Central Canada Exhibition, St. Patrick's Home, and the board of Ashbury College. Mr. Bennett, accompanied by Councillor Alan Hubley. Congratulations, Mr. Bennett. Our next honoree is Ms. Catherine Cooligan. 
Since 2014, Ms. Catherine Cooligan has served as regional managing partner of the Ottawa office of Canada's largest full-service law firm, Borden Ladner Gervais. A specialist in family law, Ms. Cooligan is part of the firm's National Management Committee and leads the region's Estates and Family Law Group. An outstanding role model for women and community leaders, Ms. Cooligan is a member, donor, and contributor to numerous charities and organizations. She supports Women for Mental Health at the Royal, the Leaders for Mental Health Breakfast Committee, the International Women's Forum, the Ottawa Board of Trade, the Women's Business Network, and is as well a member of the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario Foundation Board's Executive Committee, Ms. Catherine Cooligan. Congratulations, Ms. Cooligan. The next honoree is Ms. Kathleen Edwards. A native of Ottawa, Ms. Kathleen Edwards is an accomplished and nationally recognized singer, songwriter, and musician who has achieved outstanding success as an alt country artist. Each of her four albums has garnered Juno Award nominations. In 2013, Ms. Edwards established Quitter's Coffee Shop, developing it into a thriving business. Now a successful local business person, Ms. Edwards lends her voice and support to many charities, community events, and organizations, both locally and nationally, including The Royal, Music Cares, Ottawa Riverkeeper, Students on Ice, and Golden Rescue. Ms. Edwards, accompanied by her ward counselor, Glenn Gower. Congratulations, Ms. Edwards. Our next honoree is Ms. Lisa Ebert. Lisa Ebert is one of the founders of Capital Rainbow Refuge, an advocacy group that supports and sponsors sexual and gender minority refugees. As a founder and coordinator of Capital Rainbow Refuge, she has worked with numerous supporters in the community to build a network of LGBTQ sponsorship groups and has helped to settle about 100 LGBTQ refugees since the organization's inception in 2010. Ms. Hébert is a community contributor known for feeding, clothing, housing, and offering guidance to LGBTQ newcomers. Ms. Hébert is one of the reasons Canada stands out as a success with LGBTQ refugee settlement, making Ottawa among the most welcoming communities for LGBTQ refugees. Ms. Lisa Hébert.
Congratulations, Ms. Hébert. Le prochain récipiendaire est M. Marc Leboutier. M. Marc Leboutier est un chef de file et un stratège dans les domaines de la gestion hospitalière régionale et des services de laboratoire médical. À titre de président, directeur général de l'hôpital général de Hawkesbury District, le HGH, depuis 2007, M. Leboutier a dirigé un projet de réaménagement d'une valeur de 160 millions de dollars qui visait à faire de l'HGH un modèle d'hôpital communautaire doté d'infrastructures et d'équipements ultramodernes. M. Leboutier a été vice-président de Dynacare Medical Laboratories de 1996 à 2007 et directeur général adjoint de l'Hôpital Montfort de 1984 à 1996. M. Leboutier, accompagné de son conseiller, Mathieu Fleury. Toutes mes félicitations, M. Leboutier. Le prochain récipiendaire est M. Jean-Michel Lemieux. Jean-Michel Lemieux est un chef de file canadien dans le secteur de la technologie et a publié de nombreux ouvrages sur le sujet. À titre de directeur de la technologie chez Shopify, M. Lemieux est chargé de la stratégie, de l'infrastructure et des plateformes technologiques qui alimentent les outils et les services dont ont besoin les entrepreneurs pour lancer et développer leurs entreprises à travers le monde. Croyant fermement au succès des modèles positifs et à l'innovation locale, M. Lemieux appuie des initiatives dans les deux universités d'Ottawa. Il est un membre fondateur de Canadian Tech at Scale, une conférence qui regroupe les meilleurs et plus brillants ingénieurs de la haute technologie pour explorer des façons de lancer et de développer une entreprise et aussi de retenir les talents technologiques au Canada. M. Lemieux, accompagné de son conseiller, Jeff Leeper. Toutes mes félicitations, M. Lemieux. Our next honoree is Mrs. Gwen Madiba M. Latulip. Mrs. Latulip is an international public speaker and an advocate for women and children's rights. A designer and former model, her work creates opportunities for all people to feel appreciated, valued, respected, and equal, regardless of their social background, race, age, gender, sexual orientation, or religion, and supports social community and cultural growth. From 2014 until 2016, Mrs. Lechulip was the ambassador for North America of the Nelson Mandela legacy and official representative of the Honorable Nelson Mandela's family. In 2017, she became the first black woman to pass the top 20 and land in the top two at the International Women's Rights Pageant, Mrs. Universe. Mrs. Lechulip worked at the Native Women's Association from December 2017 until October 2019. Mrs. Lechulip, accompanied by her ward counselor, Mathieu Fleury.
toutes mes félicitations, Madame La Tulipe. La prochaine récipiendaire est Madame Madeleine Meyer. Madame Madeleine Meyer est au service d'Ottawa et de l'Ontario depuis plus de 20 ans, à titre d'infirmière, d'avocate et d'élu. Reconnue tout au long de sa carrière comme championne de la communauté francophone, elle a été conseillère auprès de la ville de Vanier et de la municipalité régionale d'Ottawa Carleton. De 2003 à 2016, elle a été députée provinciale de la circonscription d'Ottawa Vanier et a occupé divers postes ministériels, notamment celui de ministre responsable des affaires francophones. En outre, elle a été procureure générale de l'Ontario de 2014 à 2016. Madame Mayer a défendu d'importants projets pour Ottawa, notamment la revitalisation du chemin de Montréal et du marché bail, le train léger sur rail, l'agrandissement de l'hôpital Montfort et du centre hospitalier pour enfants de l'Est de l'Ontario. Madame Mayer, accompagnée de son conseiller, Mathieu Fleury. I'm sure Madeleine won't mind. I'm going to ask uh, Premier Dalton McGuinty to come and uh, pose with us because uh, Madeleine and, and, of course, Dalton work together. I, I've just sprung this on the Premier. Sorry about this. Toutes mes félicitations, Madame Mayer. The next honoree is Ms. Hindia Mohamud. Ms. Hindia Mohamud has nearly 20 years of experience in building community solutions through research, partnership development, and program design. Ms. Mohamud has served as director of the Ottawa Local Immigration Partnerships since 2009, where she's responsible for the implementation of a community-wide vision and strategy for improving the settlement and integration of immigrants in Ottawa. Prior to her work at the Ottawa Local Immigration Partnership, Ms. Mohamud worked at Ottawa's Social Planning Council and at the United Way. She has volunteered for multiple local causes, ranging from her local food bank to women's organization. Ms. Mohamud, accompanied by her ward councillor, Theresa Kavanaugh. Congratulations, Ms. Mohamoud. Le prochain récipiendaire, M. Bernard A. Poulain. M. Bernard A. Poulain est portraitiste, sculpteur et muraliste depuis 52 ans. 
Reconnu au Canada et dans le monde entier, il a entre autres représenté des politiciens, des membres de la royauté et différentes personnalités nationales et internationales. On peut admirer certaines de ses œuvres dans le hall d'entrée du Centre hospitalier pour enfants de l'Est de l'Ontario, de la Société d'aide à l'enfance d'Ottawa et du Centre de recherche médicale Solange Karsh. Ses œuvres ont été exposées à travers le monde. M. Poulain est l'auteur de 12 livres et a collaboré à plus d'une douzaine d'autres projets publiés au Canada et aux États-Unis. Enseignant de profession, il est conférencier et animateur d'ateliers au Canada, aux États-Unis et aux Bermudes depuis plus de 30 ans. M. Bernard A. Poulain. Toutes mes félicitations, Monsieur Poulain. Our next recipient is Mr. Indrapreet Singh. As the mayor mentioned earlier, Mr. Singh was selected as a 2018 Order of Ottawa recipient, however, was unable to attend the ceremony and is therefore being honored tonight. Mr. Singh is a leader in Ottawa's South Asian community. He is the director of the Ottawa Indian Film Festival Awards and is devoted to cultivating an audience for Indian cinema and culture in Ottawa. Mr. Singh founded the annual Job and Newcomer Settlement Fair, which allows newcomers to Ottawa to learn about settlement services, secure mentorship and entrepreneurship support, and connect job seekers with work opportunities. In 2016, he participated in the Mayor's Trade Mission to India, traveling with the mission to generate investments and opportunities in technology, film production, and tourism. Mr. Singh. Congratulations, Mr. Singh. Our next recipient is Mr. Sandy Smallwood. As founder and president of Andrex Holdings Limited since 1973, Mr. Sandy Smallwood is a leader in the regeneration of landmark buildings. He is the president of Historic Ottawa Developments and has served as a member of the board of directors of the Ontario Heritage Trust. In 2012, Mr. Smallwood was appointed as City Council's citizen representation to the Ottawa Police Services Board, where he now serves as vice chair. In 2013, he was elected vice president of the Canadian Association of Police Governance. Mr. Smallwood is a former Rockcliffe Park councillor and a former board member of both the Ottawa Symphony Orchestra and the Ottawa Arts Centre Foundation. Mr. Smallwood, accompanied by his ward councillor, Rawson King, and by councillor Eli L. Chantiri, as he and Mr. Smallwood worked very closely together for several years on the Police Services Board.
Congratulations, Mr. Smallwood. Our next recipient is Mr. Kenneth Tamage. Mr. Kenneth Tamage is a senior accounting and business leader with more than 40 years of experience providing taxation and business advis advisory solutions to clients. Mr. Tamage is a tax partner with Baker Tilly Ottawa LLP and has been the managing partner since 2012. Mr. Tamage has been a longtime supporter and a contributor to many local organizations in his community. Some of these organizations include the Boys and Girls Club's Keyathon Committee, the Community Foundation of Ottawa Carleton, the Queensway Carleton Hospital Foundation, the Canada Chamber of Commerce, St. Patrick's Home, and the Royal Mental Health Centre. Mr. Tamage, accompanied by his ward councillor, Alan Hubley. Congratulations, Mr. Tamage. Our final Order of Ottawa recipient for 2019 is Chef Rick Watson. As the Executive Chef and Director of Food Services at the Ottawa Mission, Chef Rick Watson is responsible for managing the staff, students, and volunteers who serve daily meals to shelter clients and community residents, preparing more than 1,400 meals per day for some of those in Ottawa facing the greatest need. In 2004, Chef Rick launched the Ottawa Mission Food Services Training Program to train individuals struggling with homelessness, graduating 149 individuals, 142 of whom went on to find employment in the industry, a success rate of 95%. Chef Rick has volunteered with several community organizations, including the Algonquin College Student Advisory Board, the Board of Just Food, and the Board of the Canadian Culinary Federation Ottawa Branch. Chef Rick Watson, accompanied by his ward councillor, Mathieu Fleury. Congratulations, Chef Rick. And now for the final award for tonight. Created in 2003, in recognition of Brian Kilray's 1,000th career victory, the Brian Kilray Award for Excellence in Coaching honors the contributions of an amateur coach who best exemplifies the qualities of leadership and commitment that have been the hallmarks of Brian Kilray's career. Mr. Victor F. Tedondo is this year's recipient of the Brian Kilray Award for Excellence in Amateur Coaching. Mr. Tedondo has been coaching football in Ottawa since he was 17, first as an assistant coach for the Orleans Bengals and then as a student at the University of Ottawa. In 2007, he founded the Gridiron Academy, an organization committed to providing a modernized form of training, helping athletes obtain a strong athletic foundation and focus on individual goals. The academy now has more than 100 youth in the program, with about 60 under the age of 14. Mr. Tedondo is passionate about football, continually striving to enhance the skills of young athletes. His approach to success includes both on-field and off-field growth and development, helping youth in the community, often from less affluent backgrounds, to become more confident 
motivated, active, and healthy. We are honored to have Mr. Brian Kelly with us this evening, and I invite him to come forward to assist with the presentation. Mr. Victor Tadondo, 